Hi, welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm here with Cole Fletcher, captain of the Murray State Overwatch team. Uh, Cole, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. All right, so for those that don't know, what exactly are esports? So esports is basically, in a sense, uh, video games played competitively, in a sense, like a sport. <laughs> and um, teams compete against others, potentially for a prize, and our case, scholarship money. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, how, did your, how did Murray's esports team start? So it all started uh, a while back. It eventually became more of the League of Legends club for a while. And it's kind of funny, I was talking to my friend Aaron, who was the president of the eSports club at the time, uh, last spring semester. And I kind of told him, hey, you know, there's some opportunities in the eSports realm for scholarships and stuff. And I had mentioned that, you know, I played Overwatch and asked him if he had heard anything about it. So at the time, I didn't know he was president of the club. And he said, yeah, I'm actually really trying to get into this. He's like, uh, it'd be awesome if you would be our Overwatch lead. And it's basically gone on from there. Cool, cool. So um, what games, what all do you have to offer game-wise? So competitively right now, all we have is Hearthstone, League of Legends, and Overwatch. That's just competitively casually. Um, we have a bunch of different games. It ranges from Apex Legends, CSGO, to Minecraft. <laughs> cool. All right, so are you guys planning on adding any more games competitively later on? Uh, yeah, we're looking for competitive. Uh, we just need the student interest in it, enough to make teams. So, I mean, we are very open about accepting new games as long as they're obviously appropriate. <laughs> okay. How would students go about letting the the club know that they're interested in the new games? Um, if you're interested and want to add a new game to the club, basically just let one of the officers, you can let me know, because I'm one of the officers, let us know and we'll do the best to make sure you get a channel in the Discord dedicated to your game. Cool, cool. All right, so um, yeah, how does someone go about joining one of the competitive teams? So to join one of the teams, and unfortunately for the fall semester right now, we are done with tryouts. Okay. But for those who may, may want to try out in uh, the spring semester, I know at least for my team, the Overwatch A team, we will be having kind of a soft tryout in the spring semester for new players to show what they got and for the uh, returning players to also show what they have. But um, one of the best ways to keep up is to go to our uh, web page on the Murray State uh, website www.murraystate.edu slash esports and there you can find our Google Calendar along with the invite link to our Discord and our social media and just stay tuned around there and watch, watch for any uh, tryouts postings. All right, cool. So um, what is a regular practice session like for you guys? So it's kind of funny. There's, there's a bit to it, more than I'll probably be able to explain, but um, Practice is kind of like playing in your dorm room, playing at home, uh, just with a bit more focus. So we focus on, like for my instance, uh, for Overwatch, we focus on uh, good positioning, understanding of the game mechanics, good communication. That's one of the hardest things for teams that just start is good communication, not flooding your, com your comms, but also you know, not being silent. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the biggest things that we focus on those three core aspects. All right, cool. Um, so what are your responsibilities as the team captain? So, and what may be obvious is one of the main jobs is, is to be a leader. I, I am the leader of this team. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest thing. I'm supposed to help with coaching, help with uh, creating strategies for the game since the game is a strategic shooter. Um, and then on the side, what I do is I, and part of who fills out paperwork for the tournaments we want to participate in or the uh, leagues or organizations we want to be in. Um, I am one of the officers, so I am constantly in officer meetings, making sure we're doing the best to keep the club upright. And um, that's uh, roughly about it. There's a few minor details, but okay. we're about. All right. 
So, um, yeah, what does it take to get good at these games? What kind of work goes into becoming a competitive player? <laughs> so, uh, to be competitive, to get good, um, <laughs> it's a, a lot about just diving into the game that you have interest in. Dive into it, um, be open-minded for advice and stuff like that, and realize that no one's perfect. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're not going to be able just to jump right into the game and just be awesome at it. You're gonna, you're gonna start slow. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the best things you can do also is to have someone who has experience with the game, who knows it well, help you out with it. Um, so like I offer a lot of the club members, you know, hey, if you want some help, message me on Discord. I'll do my best to either answer questions or review some videos, which another great thing about Overwatch is the game has included a replay system where you can go back, watch from your side or a third person or a free roam camera your game and the plays you made, and you can kind of evaluate yourself from there. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Thank you for joining us, Cole. Okay. I think that's all the time we have right now. Awesome. Thank all you. Right. Mm -hmm.